Hello everyone, in today's video, we are going to walk through the process of creating a custom IP in Vivado. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to design, package and integrate your own IP into Vivado projects, which will give you more flexibility in your FPGA designs. So let's get started. First, let me give you a quick overview of what custom IPs are. So custom IPs course are user defined hardware modules that you can create and package into Vivado. Once packaged, we can easily reuse them across multiple projects. This is incredibly helpful for streamlining designs, especially when working or uh, working on complex systems. So as you can see in this Vivado, in this project, we are creating a ripple carry adder. So this is the ripple carry adder with input width equal to 4. So, and we are creating this using a full adders. So, this is the Verilog code for our ripple carry adder. This is a 4 bit ripple carry adder that we are using. So, now we will package the custom IP. So, just go to tools, go to create and package new IP. So, Vivado will uh, allow you to create a IP using this option. So this is the new IP creation that we are doing. So click on finish. So this will uh, this we will get. So we can see that uh, this IP is compatible with all these FPGA boards. Then these are the files that will be that we will be used for synthesis and simulation. These are the customized parameters so we can customize input width. So only the input width is to be customized here. Then we have the ports and interfaces. Then this is the GUI for our IP. So we can uh, change it also but for the sake of this video we are going to uh, use this basic GUI. So this is the option to package IP. So we have packaged our IP. Now we need to verify that the IP works as expected. So we will create a new project, instantiate the custom IP and run simulation to ensure it's functioning correctly. So in this example, we will add the IP to a block design, convert inputs and outputs and simulate the system. So as you can see, I am creating a new project for verifying that my IP is functioning correctly. So this new project is created. So if you are found, if you are uh, finding this uh, video useful, then please hit the like button. Also, please share and subscribe the channel if you are not already subscribed. So we can go to the settings, then we can go to IP, we can go to repository. So first we have to add this IP to the repository. So we can just go to the location and click on OK. So as you can see one repository added to this project which contained one IP. Now our IP will be shown in the IP catalog. So as you can see I am creating a block design. In this I will import my IP into this block design. So the block design is now created. Now we will add the IP. So uh, we will use the same name that we had used earlier. So this is the IP that we are using. So we can also customize this IP as you uh, as we have made the input width to be customized. We can also rename the IP instantiation. So this instance we can easily rename. We can also customize the input width. So I'm uh, taking an input width to be of 8 bits. So this is also uh, another. So I am using the three instances of my IP. So this A is 7 is to 0. So we are using a ripple carry adder. We are designing a ripple carry adder which has four inputs and one output. The four inputs are of 8 bits each. So 
so we are using the four inputs a b c and d and these four inputs we are taking from two of our ip that we had created for ripple carry adder now again we will modify the input width because here the sum was of 9 bits so we are taking the input to be again of 9 bits and this external sum we will make it to be an external signal so we, we will rename this as sum so this is my ripple carry adder design now we will generate the block design and uh, get a very log code for this block design so uh, as you can see we have generated the very log code from this block design so we will now run the behavioral simulation from uh, sources we can easily see that a very log code is created so this is the very log code for our block design now we will simulate it so run behavioral simulation and write the name of the top module so i am writing the name of the top module and we will click on ok so that our simulation will start so let me give the inputs so this is the simulation window that we are getting so uh, input A we are giving it as 1 in hexadecimal input 2 input B will be 2 in hexadecimal input C will be 3 in hexadecimal and input D is 4 in hexadecimal so these are the 4 inputs that we have and we will run so we are getting A as the output because 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is A in hexadecimal so this means that our IP is functioning correctly. So that's it. We have successfully created and packaged a custom IP in Vivado. With this knowledge, you can create more complex IPs and build efficient and reusable block for your designs. Make sure to subscribe if you found this tutorial helpful. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos on this channel. Thank you. And I will see you in the next video. Hello 